What's up, my name is Technobe here for Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Grappling Hook. Grappling Hook is a super simple mod that adds a grappling hook that people can use to traverse your server in an interesting way. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section. Search for Grappling Hook and if you don't see the icon, sort by updated, then install the version that's compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the Spigot page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. To get help at any point, we can use slash grappling hook or slash gh. We can give a player a grappling hook with slash gh give followed by the player's name and follow the name with a number to give one with limited uses. Of course, only players with the grappling hook dot give permission can give this item. For the rest of the players, we can craft it using the custom recipe in a crafting bench. By default, the config doesn't include the crafting recipe, I've added it just to show you how it looks. We can customize the recipes and the uses that each one gives us, but we'll cover this in the config. Using right click, we cast the bob. When it lands, we get pulled in that direction. Super simple to use and easy to understand. Using slash gh debug, we can enable console output in case there's some weird things going on with the plugin. Most people won't need to have this option on. Slash GH reload reloads the plugin's config from the files. Locate the config in the plugin folder. Opening config.yml, we have all of the settings for the plugin. I'll run through some options, but for a more detailed explanation, see the config section on the plugin spigot page. We can disable debugging completely by changing debug to false. This might help clean the server's console of some unnecessary clutter. Display name, law rapple sound, latch sound, and break sound all customize how the grappling hook looks and feels. Messages at the bottom lets you customize how the plugin talks back to players in chat. Settings that contain multiplier affect how strong you'll be pulled in a direction. Rapple cooldown and throw cooldown prevent players from spamming the item and possibly causing some lag. Now we get to the custom recipe. By default, there is no option for this, but we can add it based on the sample config on the plugin spigot page. First, add a recipes option, then on the next line, add two single quotes with a number inside of it. This is how many uses the crafted item will have, zero being unlimited. Then we can enter slot one through nine and pick what items we need a user to place. I'll copy and paste the sample recipe from the plugin spigot page. After saving the file, we need to restart the server for the new recipe to work. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!